Hi, this review is going to be about leeches. We need them, we love them, we hate them. I've got two of pretty much the most premium leeches on the market at the moment. This one's the Creatures Le Leisure, um, quite high end. And of course, FCS, brand new one, the Freedom Leash. Before I jump into the Freedom Leash, I'll start with this one. It's the next one down price wise. The Freedom's £40, this one's roughly 29 to 35 It's good leash, strong. This one's the comp leash. And nice bit of stretch in it. Less drag because you have the very the smaller cord with the comp leash. Good solid rail saver leash connector there. Most important part, the cuff. This one has the pop-up plastic hoop, which is great for being able to get your leash off easily. Unlike the old kind of material ones that tend to stick underneath or you couldn't quite catch under your wetsuit. <coughs> Good Velcro. What's a nice little touch to this um, particular leash is, it has a rubber cuff to it, like a rubber feel to it, like a neoprene. So because it's neoprene or neoprene feeling, it doesn't move when it's on your ankle on your wetsuit, so it has a good good grip. So you don't have that horrible, the the, the leash turning round and causing you, your leg to then catch on that leash. So that's a really big bonus. That one, it, you put it on, it stays perfectly in place. It's very very soft material, so it's really comfortable. So a very impressive leash. Um, Prior to trying out the Freedom Leash, I would say this one is the best I've ever tried. So, onto the Freedom Leash. A lot of hype, a lot of media by FCS, and um, yeah, it's, it has a very weird cordy feel to it. It feels like the cord on, say, like an iron, something like that. I'd say in thickness, it's a hair thinner than the comp leash. The difference being this is what they would call like a regular leash. So this is designed to take pretty good size waves and, and not snap. The rail saver, it's a lot, lot smaller than the kind of regular one as you can see there. They give you both logos. And you can see when I put them end to end, the cord there goes a lot further out. So freeing up the distance from your board quite quite significantly. Onto the cuffs, we'll go again with that. And you can see there, there's a big big difference in the length. Now, <coughs> called FTS, it's called the Freedom Leash because it doesn't tangle around your ankles or on your board or anything like that. And I would say, yeah, 99. 95% of the time it doesn't tangle. I don't know why, I'm not sure what this cord makes a difference to that, but in my experience it's cut down on the amount of um, tangling and leg catching massively, a lot, a really a lot compared to any others. Again it's got this nice plasticky rubber hoop to take off the leash and inside again you have this really, really smooth, kind of rubbery material, and it's super, super soft. But again, like the other leash, it grips and it grips well. So you're not getting this kind of thing happening when you're wearing it. It's on, and it stays where it needs to. I mean, it's loose on the wrist, but you get the drift. It, you know, when you, you the waves got your board and stuff, you can see. It does grip really, really well. I'll demonstrate the other one as well, just so I'm not being biased to the FCS. <coughs> I'll put it around my wrist to demonstrate how little it will come away. Just give me a second here, a bit fiddly. Not used to putting it on my wrist, to be fair. It is supposed to go on your ankle. So, as you can see, there is, it will, you know, it's not as dirty as that one, but Trust me, this one does still work very, very well. So, which one would I go for now if I had the choice between the two? Yeah, you'll save around five to ten pounds on this leash, but for the extra tenner, 
I have to say, and I don't want to be, you know, into the hype, but I would have to go with the FCS Freedom on this one. It is a better leash, but, you know, let's face it, either leash, you, you quids in, you're going to be alright with both. But for my money, and I don't know about durability yet, this one is roughly a year old now, I've pretty much got them about a month after they came out, so whenever that was, and it's still in good nick and doing well and feels great in the water. So yeah, well done to FCS for that one. Highly recommend that one. Thank you.